Hello everyone. Let us look into this problem boredom. This is also a dynamic programming problem and this is rated at 1500 on code forces. Okay, in this problem, the constraint is that we have been given a sequence of numbers in which if we select the ith number, then we cannot select i minus one and i plus one number. And the points for selecting the ith number is the value of the ith number. So if we look at this, this case here and we have to maximize the points that we can get right so it is so in this example here 1 to 1 3 2 2 2 2 3 we we have to maximize the points that we can get so what we can do is we can select a 2 that is written here we can select a 2 what that would do is it would remove all the 3s and all the 1s from the from the sequence of the numbers right and the point that we get is 2 after that step we are left only with four twos in the array and what we can do is we can keep selecting all the all the all the two one by one so that the point would become two into four which is eight and we have a point two from our step number one so we get total 10 points okay i will also explain this question in a bit more detail so this is one two one two 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 and three so what it says is that Every time you select an ith number, right? Every time we select an ith number, we get i points, i points, right? But what it also means is that we cannot select i minus one and i plus one number from the array. And we have to maximize the total i points that we can get, right? So in this case, the maximum would be when we select only two, which is two into five equals to 10, okay? So now having our question cleared let us look into how to solve this question so this is this question is a is a bit different from what we have done so far so far we have more or less tried to follow the bottoms top down approach wherein we were doing a recursive uh, solution right and in that recursive solution we were solving for so we started from the top right we recursed until the end and we started solving uh, calculating our solutions from the end using recursion right in this solution we are going to solve what is called a bottoms approach bottoms up approach in which we build build our solution from from the start only okay now if you look at this array okay if you look at this array this is how it is composed so let's say this is zeroth index this is first index this is second index and this is third index right how many so zero will always be zero because the range has been given as one to ten to the power five so zero is always going to remain zero so how many elements of one are present in the array so there are a total of one two elements right so we will write two here right and how many elements of two are present five so we'll write five and how many elements of three are present so we'll write three now what is the maximum value here? So let's look here. What is the maximum value that can be present at this zeroth index? It can be zero, right? Because the range starts from one. What is the maximum value that can be present if our array is only having one? It the answer is two because we have two two ones. So the answer becomes one into two. Now what is the what is the maximum that can be present here? What is the maximum that can be present here is the question right so let us look into this so this is if we select if we select two at this point if we select two we cannot select one right so this is if we select two we cannot select one right so let us say we select two so what is the answer two into five equals to ten right okay and because we are not selecting one here so the answer is maximum maximum of 2 into 5 equals to 10 or 2 right so the answer at this point of time is 10 now let's go to let's go to this 3 and see what happens so when we select 3 it means we cannot select 2 Right, so this is the first inference. The select second inference is we can 
select one right so this is this is a very very important inference that we have so the answer now becomes max of 3 into 1 plus 1 into 2 right comma 5 into 2 right so what is what what are the values so this is this is max of 10 comma 3 plus 1 is 3 into 1 is 3 2 into 1 is 2 so max of 5 comma 10 which is 10 right so this this point here right this this guy here has given us a recursive formula for going into the bottom sub approach wherein the max at any index i equals to the max of uh, max of let's say dp of i minus 1 right comma or we may not need even a dp variable uh, let us see into the code let us see okay max of dp of i minus 1 comma now we are selecting the current element so that becomes i into count of i plus dp of i minus 2 right so this is very important here so we have built our solution from smaller elements so we have built so at any given i we have built our solution from all the numbers which is smaller than i i right so this is very important here so we have we have developed a formula for creating for finding the maximum that can exist at any 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 index i right or any number i in the in the in the vector so this is different from what we have done so far and this is also called bottom step approach because we are building our solution from the start we are really not recursing it here right so let us go and now solve this question let me write code for this question so in fact what i can do is i can write code on id 1 and actually see it working we can actually see it working so id1.com and yeah so this is already c plus plus so the first step is to declare a variable the first step is to actually take in the number of input which is c in n right and in the second step let us have as define ls log log so let us what we can do now is define a variable ll of a right and this could be 1 2 3 4 5 and 1 2 3 4 5 i'll make this as 5 okay and what I will do is in all the values. So this is this is this variable a, right? Or and let me just write it count count of count. Huh, okay, let me just keep it as count. So this is going to keep the count or the number of times a particular number has occurred, right? I am going to set it to zero for all the elements to start with size of count let me just call it count array count array right and what i am going to do is i'll declare two variables max on i let's say i1 which is equals to so int min min right this is this is going to store the max at i minus 1 ll max of i2 equals to int underscore min this is going to store the max at i minus 2 okay and now what we can do is we can simply start our loop so for 
int i equals to 0 i smaller than n i plus plus so let us see the current number so int j or current c in current and what we now need to do is in the count array count array of current we just need to increase it by one now let us have so let us declare two variables so one max of i two equals to one okay this is for this is for index one okay uh, let me sorry uh, max of i2 equals to 0 this is for index 0 right and max of i1 equals to 1 this is for index 1 index 0 index or number 0 or number 1 right now what we will do is we'll start our loop from to int or let me just yeah this is int, int i equals to 2 i smaller than which is the smaller than equals to which is the maximum range 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 3 4 5 and i plus plus what we need to now write is uh, let us also declare a variable called cur okay current max so current max equals to maximum of either we would have taken the last number which is max of i1 or we could take the current number which is i into multiply it by its value in count array okay multiply it by its value in count array of uh, i plus we can take the plus we can take the i minus 2 which is max of i2 right and once we have done this equation i2 becomes i sorry max of i2 becomes max of i1 and max of i1 becomes current max right and in the end all that we need to do is see out max of i1 right this is what we'll have to print out so let us see if it works or not so our given input let us run over this thing here i'll paste it just copy it and if i now run let us see what happens okay so there is a problem mem set wasn't declared which is okay so what we will do is we are going to declare mem set i am going to include hash include algorithm and i think that should be it okay mem set is still not declared which is a little strange so let us do one thing let us try this hash include bits slash stdc plus plus dot h we can also remove if this doesn't work we'll just quickly google as to what is the problem how do we okay so count array wasn't declared so this looks like a syntactical error so count array here is not declared okay and uh, this is line number 21 so i think all the errors are gone okay so the output is 10 right so in this case we actually did not needed uh, the cursive solution what we needed was to build upon smaller numbers that we already have right the most important part here was to figure out this figure out this recursive formula that that we developed this was the most important and once this observation was done it was pretty simple and straightforward to actually go ahead and implement it so this is what we call is uh, this is what we call is a bottoms up approach we have been more or less doing 
top down approach wherein we were using recursion but this in this problem we solved it using the bottom up approach okay cool guys so i hope you found this helpful please like share and subscribe and let me know your feedback in the comments thank you bye